side of the bed are the father, mother, and Mrs. Bucket. That is Mr. Bucket, and this is Mrs. Bucket. That small boy standing right there is Charlie Bucket, their only son. Mr. Willy Wonka has decided to allow five children to visit his factory. The lucky five will tour the factory and receive a lifetime supply of Wonka chocolates. Tour the factory? A lifetime supply of chocolate? Read on. Five golden tickets have been hidden among five million ordinary candy bars. The finders of these golden tickets will win the tour and the chocolates. It's a one in a million shot! <laughs> the tickets could be anywhere. How exciting. I wonder if any of them have been found yet. That paper is a day old. <laughs> Charlie, you'd better hurry. You don't want to be late to school. It's back to work for me. Goodbye, Mr. Bucket. Goodbye, Mrs. Bucket. Stay me outside Charlie's house every day after lunch with a shiny nickel piece to buy a Wonka bar from the local candy man. <coughs> the kid with no nickel is Charlie's. It's the candy, candy man. What are you going to get? Hey Charlie, help me pick something out. I got a nickel. You already got a lollipop. Shouldn't you finish it first? I can't help it. I love candy. All candy. Chocolate, caramel, jawbreaker, suckers. Stop it. You're making my mouth water. Stop eating sweets. All those wonderful Willy Wonka treats. You can keep the others. I'm a walker. Frankfurt, Germany. That's right, ladies and 
gentlemen, people are buying over 50,000 Wonka bars every hour. And the first golden ticket has been found. Here's the winning family now. Miss Blue, tell us about the golden ticket. Yes, I just knew my little <coughs> Snoopy Bosses would find the golden ticket. He eats so much candy, it was almost impossible for him not to find one. What does my little Augustus do when his tummy is all full? I eat more! <laughs> <laughs> Golden ticket. 
And here, Miss TV now. Tell us about the golden ticket, ma'am. You see, Mark and I were. Did I tell you not to interrupt? This is the best part. Crap, smack, whack, dead. Did you see him die? That was so totally awesome. <laughs> Very cool, Mike. Now, Miss TV, about the golden ticket. Yeah, I got a golden ticket. Big deal. Me and miss at least one hour of my second favorite TV show and leave the house to turn some stupid chocolate factory. Whatever. Hit him harder. Yeah! <laughs> I've had enough of those snot-nosed brats. We should all go to bed. I wish I'd never heard of candy or Wonka. <laughs> it's more than two weeks have passed, and the fifth and final ticket has refused to show up. The Grand City's blanketed with bitter, breathing stuff. Oh, Charlie, would you grab that last piece of gum crunchies? Don't want it to freeze. Sure. I think he dropped his coin. Uh, the coin's been probably buried in the snow for weeks. Take it, Charlie, and thank this for being such a good kid. What coin was it? Got it. Really? Really? You look like you're starving. Well, I better get to school. Do you think you could have another? I'll pay for it. Of course, I don't. I, I give you one, but boss is pretty strict about inventory. Let's see. Yeah.
Mmm, it's delicious. It really tastes like pea soup. Oh, and here comes the roast beef. Mmm, so tender and juicy. But, but the blueberry ice cream. I bet it's dye. That's what I'm worried about. The dye. You're right, Wonka. It is the dye for Blueberry ice cream, you're a genius. Violet, stop chewing this instant. Violet, Violet, you're turning Violet, Violet. Happens every time. Quick, move over there and protect yourself in this corner. What happens next may get messy. Whatever 
trained you to not disturb the squirrels. They're in training. See here, Wonka. I want a squirrel. Well, that should work well. 
How far do you think he'll stretch? Who knows? Maybe miles.
Oh, can we get one more big hand here for the sisters?